To create rotating text like a slot machine in After Effect, you can watch this video. In this project, I have created a dark red solid layer as the background. And now I need to type the text using the type tool. Set the scale and position of the text. Create pre-compose on the text layer. Double click on pre-compose. On the text layer, activate the region of interest. Then crop the text area only. Go to the composition option in the menu. Then select crop comp to region of interest. Return to the main composition. Duplicate pre-compose as many times as the number of letters in the text. Because Roller has six letters, I duplicate it six times. Crop each letter in the text. Use the shape tool to cut it. Make sure each letter is cropped with different compositions and sequentially. To make it easier to identify each composition, rename it according to the letters that have been cut. In the composition where there is an initial R, add an offset effect. At the one second, I activated the keyframe on Shift Center 2. And at the five second, I create a new keyframe. For the initial keyframe, change the value setting on the right to 1800. Or you can change it to the value you need. Select the two keyframes, then use the Easy Ease effect. After that, open the graph editor. Change the line graphic to be like that. Select both keyframes, then copy by pressing Ctrl plus C. And to paste, press Ctrl plus V. I will copy it to three letter compositions alternately. In the composition for the letter O, paste the keyframes first. In the initial keyframe, I change the value to minus 1800. After that, copy the keyframes and place them into the letter composition where there is no offset effect. The next step, create a new adjustment layer. Then add the force motion blur effect to the layer. I change the motion blur samples value to 12. And then add card wipe effect. Enable the keyframe on transition completion and lower the value to zero. At the three second, I created a new keyframe and changed the value to 100%. 
Select all layers and compositions, except the background layer. Then create a pre-compose. In this tutorial, I will add a gradient ramp, so that the letters look different in color at the bottom. After that, I will copy the gradient ramp effect to all the letter compositions. And the result will be like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in another tutorial.